What's up guys, my name is Khan, and we're back today with more Infinifactory. Now, I know it's been a bit since the last video, but we are going to continue on with this game. We're almost done this game, actually. I think we've only got two sections left. So we did complete the heist in the last video, and the heist, it seemed to be mostly focused on teleporters. You had to create products by bringing them through teleporters and, uh, you know, recreating them on the other side. And now we're into production zone one with our good buddy Salvatross here. And uh, I don't exactly know. I'm thinking this isn't going to be teleporters. I'm assuming it's going to be something a little bit different. But I guess we'll find out when we get into this first puzzle on hull panels. So let's just jump right into that. And, uh, okay, we've got, we got Salvatrust here. I don't really care to talk to you, to be honest. So in this level, I guess we have to make two wall pieces here. And, uh, I, I don't exactly know where the walls... Okay, so the walls get kind of forged. Well, that's cool. That is really, really cool. It's like, it's like a... a production facility making metal so then we gotta we gotta cut them using this new laser block so i guess we have to activate it when the wall gets to a certain sensor and we'll just have a laser basically cut out the two shapes and then divide it up and and we can do that every segment so how much block are we going to need to do that that's five on this one and three on this one so this one's a three by three and that's a five and how big is this is this five high one, two, I can't really tell. Is that, is that five high? Can we one, two, three, four, five? Yeah, okay, it's five high. So perfect. So we'll just, we'll measure out the distance and then cut it with the lasers. This is going to be awesome. I really hope this whole campaign is focused on lasers. And uh, this is a really cool background. But anyways, all right. So really simply, this just feeds out automatically. We don't even need to put a single conveyor there. And we just need to measure a total of eight, I guess nine blocks because we need, um, no, we need 10 blocks because we have to have a cutting on one side and a cutting on the other. So how big would that be let's just get some blocks here so let's put a platform piece uh conveyor we're gonna need that we're gonna need a laser we're gonna need a sensor we're gonna need some conduit and uh i think that's it maybe we'll maybe need some conveyors i'm not exactly sure so okay so here we go so this comes out uh and we'll just lay this down for now we'll get rid of it after so one two three four five six seven eight uh, 9, 10. When the front edge hits a sensor that's when we have to cut everything out so the front edge will hit a sensor there and then we'll cut out a five by five. So we need to make a laser wall here. Again, we can delete this all after, but we'll just, uh, we'll have that. So that'll be the first laser wall, which will cut the five by five chunk. And we should actually be able to have this on a conveyor right here afterwards and just get pulled off right away. I think that'll work. And then of course, uh, for the next section, we need to do a three. So for this, again, we just put more lasers. So like that, and then like that. And then like that and that that'll cut the whole three section out okay so now we can delete this and then the three section has to drop onto a conveyor and uh just get fed around i guess this way this is this seems a little bit inefficient so i think this will cut a slice of five by five it'll you know what oh the five ooh the five might it might you know what we'll see what happens it, it may or may not get screwed up by that conveyor hopefully it doesn't we need it to make sure it pulls forward all right, so here we go. So I, I don't even know. I'm assuming this is how the lasers work, right? They just blast a straight line and kill everything. Oh boy, that, oh, that slaughtered. Okay, no, that's not good. That, that didn't work. First of all, first of all, let's, we need to move the lasers to the other side. So that's the first problem is the lasers have to be over here. All right, so with the lasers over here, now we can pull the three piece off relatively easily and feed it over there. Perfect. So that's first problem solved, check. Uh, and then we'll we'll hook up all these lasers with conduit in behind just so that they all activate and then it's no problem easy mode done okay so that's the laser grid the second problem is the fact that this sensor needs to trigger once not a million times because it triggered a million times and basically just caused the whole thing to uh go kaboom so if we have it pull it off that way will that fix the issue is the question because now one two three four it should have just enough room to sneak by these lasers and uh, hopefully it'll only activate the sensor once on the first one. Because what was happening was the whole block was pulling past the sensor. So it just kept activating the lasers over and over again. And if not, we'll have to build some sort of a, a toggle mechanism to fix it. But anyways, this should work, hopefully. We'll extrude it out. I'm assuming we can increase the rate of the extrusion too. So we can probably adjust that. You know what, can we just do that now? Let's just max input rate. Yeah, so it's just a constant speed. All right, so what does this do? That's actually awesome. Look at that. It's perfect. That's absolutely amazing. Perfect. We're making products. 
So really all we need to do is just make sure pull it away rather than, you know, constantly. That's so cool, that laser block. Man, I, I can't wait. This is going to be awesome. We're going to be like carving different things and maybe making the parts ourselves and then putting them together. I'm not really sure yet, but I mean, this is pretty simple stuff. That's cool. It's really, really cool. It's like 3D printing, but why well, not really? I guess it's more like CNC really. We're, we're carving... But it, it's kind of like the Eviscerator, except we can do a lot more. And I think the laser has, like, infinite range. Yeah, it looks like it does. So we'll be able to do whole, a whole bunch of stuff. Look at that. Perfect cycle score. Um, pretty good on the footprint and block score. I mean, how do you do it with, like, 10 blocks? Honestly. You need a certain number of lasers. Like, how can you do it with, like, without just a minimum? You know, I don't even care. All right, so central axis support. Uh, we'll go on to that puzzle, see what this is all about. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, so we got a... Oh my god, we're gonna carve, so we gotta carve two lines through it. Is there one through the top? Okay, the top's sealed, so that's that's at least a little bit easier. Okay, what do we get? Where's the piece that comes out? Let me guess, it's a big, is it a big cube? Oh, this is so cool. Okay, okay, okay. So we gotta slice it first into a 5x5 five five cube, and then we gotta send it to a secondary assembly where we're gonna slice the rest of it. Oh, this is so awesome. I'm so, this is like possibly my, this might be my new favorite part of this game. I mean, the teleporters was pretty cool, but this is just, this is just a whole new level of awesome. All right, so we need a five by five cube. So we'll just mark it out again. That'll be five. Uh, again, we'll put a, put a sensor there. And just like in the previous one, we'll pull the sensor, we'll pull it away from that. So all we need to do is make a line of uh, lasers here. So it should be, right there we put a laser down and we just make a line of lasers five high wow wow what an awesome awesome building position amazing so good i've played this game before all right so this should grab the cube it should slice it um i it's you know what it's it's not even going to do that right because we've got this in the wrong spot it's got to be right here now it should slice it into a 5x5 five five cube. My goodness. You know what? Let's just crank this up to max input rate. It should work, I hope. Perfect. Perfect. So that's 5x5 five five cube. Excellent. Alright, so I want to try and trim some of the, like, the edges and stuff while it's moving down this, this assembly line. You know what? We can actually probably do a bunch of it right here because we need to make it into like that shape. So I'm wondering if we can slice more of it with just this laser. Like, if we put a laser here... Oh, no, because we need a laser right where that sensor is. See, that's the problem. I mean, can we put one here, and then can we can we rotate the sensor around and put the sensor, you know, on this edge? Will that kill it? I don't know. We might we might need to change these a little bit. So hold on. Let's just... Uh, let's try this. We'll, we'll put that... No, that's not going to be good. We'll put that here in the middle. We're going to need it here for now. All right, something like that. And then, uh, yeah, we'll put another laser up here. And then another one above this one here. So I'm hoping this will make the initial kind of a plus sign shape. It does. And then we just need to trim a few more. Although I guess we could trim the top too all at the same time, can't we? So we can just do the same thing here. So we'll just go up here right and across this is not going to be efficient at all because of the pipes but anyways uh we'll do that and then trim trim down can, can we aim a wait we can't aim a laser down are you serious is there no down there's no down laser Uh oh okay so i guess we can't do that all at the same time we're gonna have to do that in a few different steps can we trim across maybe we can probably trim you know we can do this for sure put another laser there put the sensor here and connect that up to there Another laser here. Alright, so this should make, like, most of the cube. That's actually epic. It carves even more of it. We're missing the four that carve... See, how do you carve straight down? That's the problem. How are we supposed to carve... We gotta carve out the four corners now. That's the only thing left. And then the, the two center holes. This would be so much easier if you could just aim a laser down. We could carve the whole thing in one straight shot. We can also carve out the two center holes in one straight shot, actually, as part of this. We can literally do the whole thing in, like, one assembly here. And just go, like, there's the one center hole. And then the other center hole is, like, right here. So the question just becomes, how do you... That's the other... Yeah, that's the other one. So, like, this is the whole thing. And it doesn't even matter if it carves into more material because, like... You know, like, done. That's the whole assembly. It's just how do you carve straight down in those corners? 
I guess we drop it through a bunch of eviscerators. I guess that's what we're gonna do, because like you can't put a downwards laser, otherwise we could do the whole thing in one straight shot. So we gotta get rid of this, is the thing, without getting shot a second time. Because if it gets shot another time, we're screwed, right? And it'll carve it weird, which it just did. Okay, well, can we go faster if we go straight? I mean, if it goes straight, it, it won't be a big deal. And then what if it drops? Does it drop correctly? We can obviously reduce the number of conveyors. We'll do that. And then, yeah, we'll just drop it through four eviscerators and then, you know, it's done. So that's good. See, it doesn't matter if it keeps getting shot because the lasers just go through the already created holes. No, see, no, that's a problem. I guess we have to just time it a little bit more. Oh, perfect. There we go. So that's the spot. So now it can make it through without getting shot. Uh, okay, and then it drops once and then it drops a second time because of the way that the platform is so we'll just have to okay so first of all let's reduce these conveyors so we need a conveyor here and then we've got a space of three and then a space of three we should be able to do it just like this and then we need to put eviscerators in the right spot so it drops here um what where do we need the eviscerators is the question i think like here and i think like i think that's the frame is it? We'll check when it comes here. Oh, no, no, we're off by one. Okay, we got to go this way right there. All right, and then here. Perfect. All right. No, we're still... Oh, my God. I, that's that's only... There we go. There we go. Okay. And then it goes, it drops down one, and then drops again. Okay, so we need an eviscerator. Right? And we do it here. And here. And then over a few blocks, we can just use conduit pieces, because why not? That should make the product, I think. And then, like, we just disappear this way. Will that work? I mean, I think it will. It should carve out the corners. All right, here we go. Fast forward. Perfect. Perfect. And then it feeds out underneath. Oh, this is going to be amazing. All right, and then we just got to go this way. Rotate like that and just uh, bring you back across. And then bring you in. Like, so. This needs to be up one, actually, or else it won't feed them on correctly. There we go. I think this is gonna work. Here we go. Perfect. Drop. Oh, so good. Love this. Love. Yes. No. You are mis- Dang it. Misaligned. Misaligned. It's okay. It's okay. We'll just move this over a little bit. All right. This is awesome. I love this laser block. It's so cool. I mean, definitely having to deal with the laser shooting across the whole map is definitely something you have to consider when you're building different assemblies. But this is so cool. It's such a great block. Perfect. Look at that. Making the product. Oh, uh, you know, out of bounds. That's amazing, though. You can make the entire thing with just one straight, like, laser assembly. I mean, I guess you could probably extrude more and make, like, three or four at a time. I guess that would be the way to make this, like, faster on the cycle score. But this is pretty efficient, I think. And then, of course, the eviscerator's there just to trim off the final corners and uh, really just make an awesome, awesome assembly. Man, this is definitely going to be a cool campaign. I can't wait, of course, to see what the final campaign brings. But, uh, you know, I think I'm going to do really, really well on the cycles for these ones because, you know, it's really easy to make the whole thing kind of cut it out in one straight shot. But really awesome footprint, cycle score, and, of course, the block score actually doing much better. The teleporter ones, I definitely wasn't nearly as good at. If you look at the previous teleporter videos... Just terrible, terrible scores, but definitely a lot better with these lasers and having a lot of fun with them. I think we're going to leave these next puzzles to the next episodes. We'll, we'll just take a sneak peek at what the docking clamp one is. I'm just really curious as to what we have to make. Oh my god, that's absolutely insane. How do you... How, wait, how do you... How, how, how do you even cut... I don't even know. We're going to definitely leave that to the next episode. Make sure, of course, if you like this series, to let me know in the comments down below. And while you're at it, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see y'all next time.